What's up guys, myself Navneel Das. In this video, we will convert text to image in our c sharp Inform application. So I created a project in Visual Studio called text to image So you can check this in my solution explorer. So I will just resize my form and I will drag and drop for one panel and few buttons and labels few buttons and one text box so text box and a picture box and it the picture box will be inside my panel and the text box is outside of my panel and now I will drag and drop few buttons now just one button for generating and other we will copy this button only so I will just change the location of my panel and resize my panel and from the properties of my uh, properties of my th this picture box I will change the side node to or size and I will change the location to somehow 00, zero or something nearby it only so I will just resize my text box size and change the location of this button and I will just rename this button to generate so generate I will copy this button only so copy paste it for setting font I call this button as set font and one more button for setting color properties set color set color and from the toolbox I will drag and drop for my font dialog and one color dialog and a save file dialog for saving the image so I will copy and paste this button once more and now I will rename this button to something save and I will just double click this save button and it will give me the button for click event now inside this we will write save file one dot show die save file dialog one and dot show dialog now go back to your form one dot cs design and double click the save file dialog one now inside this we will write picture box one dot image dot save and inside this we will write save file dialog one dot filing and terminate it and upside this we will write a if condition if picture box dot one dot image is not equal to null it means it's not empty then this thing will happen otherwise it will do nothing so just go back to your form one or cs and the properties of the form file one dialog and we will change the properties like title to save image and over the filter we will write it to png file png image and png because png is something transparent so dot png and i will resize my form also now it's cool and something is i will resize this button also change the location of this buttons also and this text box also and I will resize the form again now it's all done now I in the properties of my panel 1 I will just change the auto scroll to 2 true sorry and I will resize this also now we will go back to one form 1.cs and declare some variables so first of all we will declare a graphics variable graphics gp and terminate it and okay and we will create a bitmap bmp and go back to your form and design just double click the generate button and now inside this we will write bmp is equal to new bitmap and over here change some size to 300 300 okay. size now we will declare one more variable for our font so we write it font okay it does not require this okay. now we will call font one dial okay. so go back to your form one dot csdesign and double click the set font and call the font one dialog dot 
show dialog and declare a variable out, outside this as font ff and say terminate it now go back to your your button one click event where we return the bmp uh, okay sorry go back to your font to ensure dialog and go try here ff is equal to font dialog one dot font and now go to the set color and just type here set okay what color dialog one dot show dialog and now we have to declare a solid brush solid brush sb terminate it now change the sp to sb is equal to new solid brush inside the bracket just type here color dialog one dot color and terminate it now just go back and hit the generate so over the generate we we have declared the bmp so we will write gp and our graphics is equal to equal to graphics start from image and inside this we will write bmp terminated now we will write gp dot draw spring and now it will ask me for the string ie the text box one text box one dot text comma for my font which is ff comma for my brush which is sb comma a point so it is zero zero so we will make a new point and inside this we will write zero comma zero as an argument now terminate this whole and picture box one dot image is equal to bmp and terminate it just run the program our program has ready now just test it it's been compiling compile fast now it's ready so let's test it first of all we set set a font uh, the font dialog is opening sometimes it may take a few minutes now let's choose any form choose any form and change the size and we change the color to red and now let's generate that now I'm using a subscribe just click it you can check this your subscribe is working and you will check uh, something scroll bars because we, if we change the set font you know, i.e. the size of that form font and click on the generate and you can check your uh, e subscribes uh, some spellings are uh, some words are not showing i.e. hidden because the bitmap size is not so much so change the width to something like 500 and run the program again so if you get this error just change the bitmap size let, let test it again and we will choose any cool font like 28 days later is also a cool cool font now we will change this to 48 and hit ok and set color to red hit ok now type here any string and generate and you can check this it's working well now we can save this image also to our any directory like I'm using a desktop so I type it subscribe subs or anything now if I come back to my desktop and I get my image and you you will know that it's somehow transparent also and transparent is because we have used an extension of PNG so that's all guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and here is it open so thanks